Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about the Diamond and One zone defense. This is the half court version, this isn't the press 1-2-1-1 defense, this is the half court Diamond and One defense. It's fantastic. Basically it's an iteration of the box and one. Now you're wondering uh, why am I posting a video on this? It's because, uh, well, I haven't actually posted a video on this yet, so let's get down to the clipboard and let's check this out. So basically very similar to the triangle and two in the box and one, I personally would not have any of my zoned players guarding anywhere outside of the three-point line or else you will be w way too spread out and you don't want that happening. So basically how this zone is going to work is we're going to have player 3, he's going to be guarding this area of the court. We're going to have player 5 guarding the low post and the bottom half of the key. We're going to have player 2 guarding the top half of the key as well as the, uh, the point up here but not outside the 3 point line. And then we're going to have player 4, he is going to be guarding the side of the key and all the way out until the wing of the 3 point line. And then we're going to have lonesome player number 1, he is going to be the one who is guarding man to man. So in a box and one, we're going to have four players in a box. This is just basically turning that box on an edge and this is what you get. And in most cases, you're going to have greater coverage in this than you would in a box and one. The reason why I say that is because with a box and one, what you're going to be having is players like this the key is wide open for players to cut through where they can get law passes and collapse the defense and pass the ball out now with the defense being in a diamond if the ball is caught or moved towards the middle of the key you're not going to be having multiple players crashing in on him you're still going to be having these players guarding the wings this player whoops player two guarding the point and what's going to happen is it's going to be single coverage one-on-one -on -one with player two on being guarded by player five now this is why this defense is much more reliable and a little bit stronger than the box in one is because it's a little bit harder to collapse players in on the defense so that now if there's baseline drives we can have player four move down to cut that off if we have another player who's cutting down the middle, we can have player 4 cut that off as well. Meanwhile, if there's only one player in the high post, we could have player 3 red right up on him. Or, let's say we have player 3 continue through. We can have player 3 dip back down, player 2 move over and guard player 4 on this side. Whatever it may be, we have a player pop out. Now we have player three and we've basically still covered the key we're also covering the passing lanes this is a great defense to run if you are in a situation where you need to make sure that one player is not being able to get the ball or not being able to score at all and then you can run this defense and become very successful the other great point about this defense is and how I like to run this defense is by doing something like this where we still have our diamond in one but let's say we have player one blue with the ball and he starts driving now I'm gonna have another player come out and double team player one we're now gonna have player five dip over player three move in now the one thing I will not have my team do is have player three move down towards the low block I do not want that I want player three to move in and taking away the passing lane or the lob pass maybe play a bit deeper but still in the passing lane and not down in the low block and player five will be guarding the low block over here we still have player 2 cutting off the passing lane, player 3 cutting off the passing lane, and player 5 cutting off any kind of uh, ball side drives or cuts on the side that the ball is on. Now, let's say for example player 1 passes out, and let's say we just didn't have anyone 
in position to guard player two. Let's say he's over here. Nobody was in position to guard him. And player one had to leave his man to go and guard player two just because maybe he has a very good shot. What's going to happen now, and this is the part where your team needs to be really smart, and maybe at the older age group, is if player one red leaves his man, his single coverage, what needs to happen now is these two players need to call switch, and now player four red is guarding player one, one on one, and player one red now has that zone. So that now the player four is switched out of his zone into single coverage, and player one is now switched from single coverage into his zone. They need to be smart to be able to figure that one out on the fly. The other thing that helps out running things on the fly like that is communication by yelling out switch. I always like to have my players on the court saying, hey, screen left, screen left on ball, screen left on ball, and many different things. Uh, ways of wording things when you're on defense so that now everyone knows what's going on, what's going on behind them, what's going on beside them that they can't see because they're guarding a man right now who has the ball. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.